So we have a bug moving along the x-axis for time 0 to 10. The position is s of t equals 1 third t cubed minus 4t squared plus 15t plus 6. Part A, we want to find the velocity and acceleration function. So the velocity will be the derivative of the position. So that will just be t squared minus 8t plus 15. And the acceleration will be the derivative of the velocity. And that is 2t minus 8. Part B asks, what is the position of the bug when it first starts walking? So we want to see when the bug is walking. That's going to be the velocity. So we're going to set the velocity equal to 0. And we're going to draw a number line to see how the, the velocity is changing. Okay, so let's set t squared minus 8t plus 15 equal to 0. We're going to factor this into t minus 5, t minus 3. And so we get that t is 5 and 3. So what this means is at time 3 and 5, the velocity is 0. So we want to have the bounce from 0 to 10, because that's what t is from. Now if you pick a value to the left of 3, let's say 1, if you plug it in either to this equation or this equation, you end up getting a positive number. If you pick a number between 3 and 5, let's say 4, plug it in, you get a negative. And if you pick a number from 5 to 10, let's say 6, plug it in, you get a positive number. So just drawing this out will help us answer a couple of these questions. Okay, part B asks, what is the position of the bug when it first starts walking? Okay, the position, basically it's asking for the position at time zero, because that's when it starts walking. It's The velocity is positive, so that means the the bug is moving in the right direction. So plugging it into this formula, we know that 1 third t cubed, 4t squared, and 15t will cancel, and we're left with 6. Part c, at what time is the bug stopped? So that's when the derivative is 0, which we found here, which in other words, the velocity is 0. So that was at time 3 and 5. And what intervals is the bug walking to the left? justify your answer. So that is when the derivative is negative, so the derivative of the position function. In other words, when the velocity is negative. So it's moving to the left when the velocity is negative, and that's where we found here between 3 and 5. And you do not want to include the endpoints because the velocity there is 0 and the bug is not moving. So we'll say 3 to 5 because B of t is negative.